Hello, welcome to Arab Business brought to you by Levant TV. Tunisian Prime Minister Habib Seed vowed to introduce reform in the 2016 budget that would encompass customs, education, banking and social funds. The drawing up of the National Development Plan started across the country with priority given to the needs and expectations of regions, he said at a plenary session at the House of People's Representatives held Tuesday to debate the Supplementary Finance Bill for 2015. The Premier said growth forecasts were revised downwards from 3% to 1% and reforms in social funds will help avoid 2.6 billion dinars in losses over the next five years. Egypt has agreed to export Egyptian cotton to Ukraine in exchange for importing Ukrainian wheat, according to Egypt's state media news agency MENA. The report added that Agriculture Minister Salah Hilal argued, uh, agreed that the deal with his Ukrainian counterpart Oleksiy Palavenko who is visiting Egypt. Exports of raw Egyptian cotton have slumped recently, dropping from 120 million US dollars in 2012 and 2013 to 83 million in the next two years. Abu Dhabi residential rents rose on average by 3% during the second quarter of 2015 and are expected to rise further this year as limited new supply enters the UAE capital, according to a new report. The latest Abu Dhabi Islamic Bank MPM real estate report collated from transactions within its portfolio of over 23,000 units under MPM properties management said the average annual rental growth has been 10%. It added that residential sale prices have declined by 1% quarter on quarter signaling a slowdown in demand. And finally, Saudi Arabia's stock markets fell in early trade as Brent oil traded below 50 US dollars a barrel, once again depressing investor sentiment across the Gulf. The main Saudi stock index tumbled 1.5%, Egypt fell 0.8%, Qatar edged down 0.5%, Abu Dhabi climbed 0.6%, Dubai rose 0.4%, Kuwait inched up 0.1%, and Oman was almost flat. That's it for today's business news. For more updates, please visit levant.tv. Thanks for watching Arab Business and bye for now.